bad and you know it, don't you? Lay a single in her bed and you know it, don't you? Hey guys, um, this is literally going to be a really short, quick video, but I wanted to talk to you guys about this hair that I have, and I literally just came from school, I am tired, and I'm not have the camera set up how I usually would have it set up, I'm actually holding it, so this is going to be really quick. But this hair is from DY77 here. Um, it's a China based company, I'm pretty sure. Basically, it's kind of like AliExpress, but not AliExpress. And it has its own vendor. And um, it has its own website. I will leave the link down in the bio. But this is here in the links 18, 20, and 22, I think. And. With a 16 inch closure, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the closure come down here. And this is in the texture Cambodian Loose Wave. I've been wearing this hair for just about a, since last week. I've been wearing the hair since last week. And, um, I kind of got a feel for it. I actually had straightened it out and I had blow dried it, straightened it. I had washed it about twice now. Well, three times now, because I washed it first when I got it, and then I washed it so um so that I could blow dry it, straighten it, or whatever, and yeah, so on. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys this hair is like really affordable. I'll actually leave the link below um where the link of where I got the hair from. Um, one thing about this hair, when you do get this hair, I wanted to tell you like. The shipping was fast, it took about a week, but when you get this hair, um, when you first wash it or when you first receive it, it does have a slight smell. I don't know what that was about, but it did have a slight smell, but after I washed it and put in my shampoo, it stopped having the smell and then I washed it again and it kind of had another slight smell and it actually disappeared with her. Like, it's been a week, like I said, and this hair has absolutely no smell no more. Um, as you can see, this hair is like a baby curly type of texture. This is natural texture. And I can rub my hands through it, kind of. It doesn't really tangle, but it's nags. It's kind of curly. It's on the more curlier side, even though it's a little Cambodian loose wave. Um, I don't recommend straightening this texture. Like, I had no problem straightening it. And it's really easy. I think it's even fuller that way when I straighten it. But it was really puffy. It's like my natural hair when I straighten it, which I didn't like. It didn't get bone straight. And it did poof up with humidity. Another thing I don't like about this hair is it doesn't hold a curl. I one curl it, it dropped the one curl immediately. It flexi rotted it. And yes. I'm doing something. I flexi rotted it and it didn't really hold the curls or nothing. Um, <laughs> anyways, I flexi rotted it and it held the flexi rotted curls a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked. Like, it really dropped the curl. So I decided, hey, let me stop curling it. Let me stop doing all of that to it and let me just wear it in its natural curl. Because I was thinking. I don't like it and maybe um and maybe I might even get rid of it because I had a purpose for this hair and the purpose was not being made like I wanted to put some bangs in it but what's the point of putting bangs in this hair if it can't even straighten well so I decided to leave where it in its nice natural curly texture and I actually love it it's something different something nice um, this is just a regular, like I said, it's just a closure, this is a regular wig, I have no leave out, this is just my edges, that's about it, but, yeah, it's been a week for me wearing it here, and by the time I post this, it's about to be a couple weeks or whatever, it'll probably be a couple weeks, so I'm just gonna, um, say, for right now, I love the hair, and if there's any cons or anything I will actually come back and make this video over and say something about it if something changes but so far I haven't received any shedding I might have got one or two strands 
since I did the whole entire thing with it here. Even when I blow dried and straightened it, I didn't get no strands. So, yeah. I'll leave all the links below of how I got it. And if I have any problems, I will come back and tell you guys. But this is some nice loose curl wavy here. Loose wave wavy here. My bad guys, I have some component and loose curly hair. But um yeah, I like it. And let me tell you something. If I didn't say in the beginning, this is one of the softest hairs I have ever had. Like seriously, Cambodian hair is just extremely soft. And and there's one thing I did forget and I might as well tell you guys now. If you guys didn't know, I do make my own wigs and this is a regular custom closure wig that I made. And it has no elastic bands, it has no clips, it has nothing in it. So my experience would be different compared to people that actually have their hair sewn in. Because I take off my wig every night when I get home. So, yeah, just wanted to put that out here. I do take off this hair every night and just leave it on my dresser and put it on the next day. So that might be a difference why I don't have any real tangling matting or nothing as you can see i can run my hands in it i might get a few snags but if i just spread it apart it's really nothing and i shouldn't really be running my hand true curly hair regardless but i just wanted to put that out there and yeah i'll see you guys later bye Bitch, you know you're bad and you know it, don't you she always say boy you know Hey guys, so I actually decided that I'm going to change the color of the hair and I'm going to dye it burgundy. So I'm going to use the BW2 bleach. It's already bleaching. I already applied it to the hair. I did not film it because I was on my phone and I did it messy. Um, as you can see, the hair is already blonde. It's like coming to a nice, really light brown color, but I'm going to let it sit for a couple, maybe like 10 to 15 more minutes. So that the whole entire hair could just process together better because on one side of the hair was processing faster than the other side of the hair. And I just want to make sure it's all good. And I'm going to show you the dyes that I'm using. Two years ago, I used these two colors to get my burgundy color. Um, I might insert a picture of this, the color I had two years ago. On some different hair. I use... Crimson red, or I might have used intense red, I can't remember. I was struggling in the store to remember, but I think I used crimson red and I used Bordex. I'm a Bordex um, to, you know, get the nice deep red wine color, the red that I was going for. So we're going to see how that goes. I actually have ran out of the crimson during the hair last time when I did this about two years ago. And so I had to use more Bordex, but this time I bought two bottles of Crimson Red, and I, this is the same bottle of Bordex, so I'm, it's going to probably be more on the red side, and less of the dark red wine, because that's what I was actually going for um, in the beginning. Yeah, I finished letting the hair process now, and I'm going to go wash it out. So, here's the hair, I let it kind of air dry overnight, so it's still damp. I'm about to dry it. This is the color that I came out to. It's like a blonde with a lot of highlights and lights and stuff. I did not use my um, shampoo to make the blonde brighter and tone it because I'm going to dye red. But yeah, I like the color. You can see it still has a lot of dark colors in it. And you'll see when I put the red over it. Right. So as you see, the hair is like um, this bright blonde type of color it's kind of brassy it has some really really blonde shade um strands in it but i'm gonna go ahead and dye it red and even though i did want some blonde curly hair like this but i didn't tone it if i toned it it would have looked slightly better and it maintained the curl pattern basically the same so, yeah, I'm going to go and dye it right now. So, what I'm going to do is start with the crimson. <sighs> Just put it all over here.
So as you can see, this is the crimson red and the border on top of it. And the lighter part, as you can see, is the crimson. And it's kind of like almost a hot pinkish and then really dark red in, in certain colors, like in certain areas, like down here. And then it's a really, really, really dark blackish color, but it's actually like a really dark wine color, as you can see right here. That's the Bordex. That's how the Bordex looks like, um, compared to the Crimson Red, which is this color. So, so this is the Bordex on top of it. It's going to be a nice blood red color of how I wanted it. Can't wait to wash it out. So, hey guys, um, this is the end result. It's a dark, um... It's a red, darkish red, with burgundy type of thing. It's a dark red, burgundy type of here. I'm gonna show you with different lighting. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, can't wait to rock it out and stuff. But yeah, and it maintained its curl pattern. It kept the curl pattern, and. This is perfect. I really like it. I did think I fried. I thought I fried it at first when I um first bleached it, but I didn't. And I'll just use argan oil in it to keep it extra moisturized and decondition it. But yeah, this is the end result.